Hi, I am Mike of Nearly Have Dice, and I've just done something weird. Okay. Uh, there we go. This is Dungeon Keeper. Yes. Uh, this is a game uh, from the past, uh, much like I have played uh, quite a lot recently. I've been playing games from the past. This is a game where you create dungeons. Yes, you must have enough gold. Um, you must build a treasure room to store gold. You must build a treasure room to store gold. You need gold. to build a lair for your creatures. I need to do a lot of things. What I am doing here, so I'm kind of slightly, not quite cheating, I wouldn't quite call this cheating, but. Uh, what I'm currently doing is I'm I'm fortifying my dungeon, hopefully. An entrance has been claimed. Such that uh, I don't just get killed. Do I have any? What this game is? Uh, this game is. Where you play, um, I'm going to put some more lights on because I forgot to do that. That's better. Um, you are a creator of a dungeon, as in Dungeons and Dragons, where you must build a treasure room to store gold. gold. What you are, what you are doing, is you are planning to fight hordes of um, annoying dudes. Who want to come and, and stop your your various evil things that you do? Actually, I just need that, I think. Now, um, it just so happens that I have played this level before. And uh, in fact, I've played this level before. Uh, in a couple of centers, uh, one of one of which being that um, I played recently. Uh, like I played this game before. I love this game. It's one of my favorite games. But really, rather recently, uh, you know, I picked this up again. I I bought this ages ago from from good old games. And you must build a treasure room to store gold. It's a, it's, it's an amazingly good game. And so I picked it up, and I've been playing through, which is why I've, I've got, um... Oh, and so I played it through, I played through this level, um, before, and then the game crashed. Which is really annoying, because I'd actually gotten quite a ways through the game. Uh, when that happened. And I was in fact approaching the time when I start thinking about uh, breaking out and, and killing the, the, the other keepers. In this particular uh, scenario, I don't in fact have um, enemy good guys coming to, to wreck my day. What I have instead are uh, other dungeon keepers like myself. Your gold reserves are running low. And they're aggravating. There we go. They're going to try and make my life difficult. I'm going to grab you. So, the way the game works is that you, you designate areas to be dug out. And you a new smell has been researched. Will then do that. They'll they'll dig that out, and they will make so they're 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 digging, digging out all these corridors for me. I can also possess them, and then do it myself. Now certain things just work a bit faster if you do it yourself. Like this thing, 
They've dug out areas. I am now claiming those areas as my own. And then by dumping them in front of these walls, they are fortifying the walls. And this is important because uh, they will, you can't dig through. Um, where are you? Where are you going? Don't actually care where you're going. You're going here. You can't dig through. In, uh, you can dig through earth, which is which is this stuff. You can't dig through stone, which is this stuff. You can dig through. You to feed your minions. A new room has been researched. Uh, you can dig through gold, obviously, and that gives you gold, which you need to put in the treasure room. So you need to you dig out places. Uh, you make rooms. Uh, you hopefully attract creatures. Your gold reserves are running low. You do not have enough gold. You should build a hatchery to feed your minions. Uh, you can also make terrible, terrible mistakes like I just did. Never mind. A new spell has been researched. You need to build a lair for your creatures. Oh. Need a bunch of things. Right. You need a bigger treasure room. Let's make some lair. So I'm now making a lair. Your gold reserves are running low. You should build a hatchery to feed your minions. Uh, for creatures. To <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this here is a library, and anyone dropped into this library will research things for me. Um. And I will learn various new spells, various new rooms. You should build a hatchery to feed your minions. I guess I should do that. I'm getting a wall up here, cool. There are certain rooms that you, you basically need to get things done. You start off with a uh, treasury, lair, hatchery, and training room. Food is scarce. Your hatchery. I'm going to make a hatchery. He's, he's going to be a bit annoyed that the hatchery is actually going to give him what he wants just yet. The hatchery, ha the, the hatchery grows chickens. See, there's a chicken. All right, that egg is 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 um. Gonna hatch, it's now hatched into a chicken. The vampires are going to eat the chicken. Oh. And I need to provide that so that they um. Don't starve for this. They'll eventually starve for this. This here, the little swirly bits, that indicates that a an enemy keeper, the blue enemy keeper, is uh, looking at my dungeon, but he can't do anything because he can't get to me because I've fortified all the exit points, all the places he can get to me. Mwahaha. Um You're all fortifying things that don't need to be fortified. So. So yeah, it's all about digging gold, uh, getting portal, and then in a bit I'm going to have to start training people. I'm going to do that here. A new spell has been researched. Your library is too small. Like Your creatures are fighting amongst themselves. Oh, Your creatures are falling in battle. It is payday. Some beasties don't like each other. They get they get upset with one another. They don't like being in the same. Uh, area now they'll they'll generally get along if they've got a job to do. So by dumping that guy in my library, I'm giving him a job to do, and so he won't actually fight anybody while that's going on. But as soon as I let him loose, he's going to get grumpy and he's going to start killing people. So the next thing I'm going to build is a training room. Not a very big training room for the moment. Maybe I shouldn't have done that actually. I'm changing my mind. Training creatures costs money. A new um, spell has been researched. And so the library is too small. The reason my library is too small is every spell takes up uh, a space and you need some, uh, so much space in order for the 
uh, creatures to do research. So you need to gradually increase your library or make new libraries or various other things. There, there, there's options. Your corpse will feed my minions yet, Keeper. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Also going to preemptively dig out a bunch of area here. Because I've cut myself off from the rest of the dungeon. Um, which means that I've, I've got a finite amount of gold, which is obviously a problem. I've got two big lumps here, and I've got some bits here that I can get. And I've got some back down here. But a new room has been researched. Uh, so I can't just... Um, Your entrails will decorate the darkest alcove of my domain. Oh, nice, thank you. That's, that's the other keepers being annoyed with me. They don't like me for me. Uh, I have completely forgotten what I was in the middle of saying. Yeah, so I'm going to run out of money eventually because I won't, I won't, there's, there's only a finite amount of gold. But if I, these, these pink things here, those are gems and they, although they take twice as long to mine out, they, um, they never run out. I don't, I'm always getting gold. Now, there are issues with that, which means that you actually need, because it takes twice as much, you can only, and you can only fit three imps to a face. Um, a new room has been researched. In order to not run out of money. Your creatures need a bigger lair. Uh, well, we'll give you a bigger lair then. Uh, in order to not run out of money, you need uh, three or four faces exposed with uh, imps working at them, working on them full time. Which can be a bit difficult to arrange. But there is other things you can do. For example, um, so I've I've not been training anybody. I'm just going to grab some. Going to make some more. Yes. I'm grabbing these prints and I'm chucking them into the training room. A new spell has been recited. So they are now, in fact, going to train. And when imps get to third level, they operate at double speed doing everything. So uh, I'm going to be looking forward to that. I'm also slapping my imps to make them do things quicker. I can theoretically do that to my other monsters, but I don't like doing it to my monsters because they get upset with me. Uh, theoretically, you can, you can just drop gold on them and they'll stop being upset with you. But I have had limited success with that, to be perfectly honest. A new room has been researched. Uh, what new room have I got? So the other rooms, are, the rooms I'm getting here, uh, library for researching spells, bridges, if there's any water or lava, I can use a bridge to get over that. Uh, a guard post, uh, certain creatures will sit at a guard post and will guard places. Won't be important for this particular game. A new Prism. spell has been researched. Um, any creatures that uh, I can set myself over in the options menu here. Once I've made a bit of a prison, I can set myself to imprison instead of kill any creatures that I fight. And I can use the torture chamber to convert them to, uh, well, basically me, uh, convert them to um, my side. So that's a neat thing to be able to do. The barracks is for uh, when I finally get around to fighting people. A new room has been researched. Um, when I finally get around to fighting people, what do you do with the barracks? First of all, a barracks also has the advantage that it attracts um, certain monsters, which are good fighters. A new spell has been researched. But the other thing is that it enables me to put a whole bunch of people in the barracks. And then when I possess a creature, like you saw me do with the imp earlier on, they will all follow that possessed creature and then I can lead them to wherever. Um, doing a bit of um, preparation ahead of time. Uh, so I just talked about the, the prison and the torture chamber. So the plan... The room has been researched. 
is to make a prison and a torture chamber and two hatcheries underneath them. Uh, what they do, I might also make a graveyard. Okay, I'll make all of where are you? Where are you? I'll make all of this into a graveyard. A new spell has been researched. Yeah, that'll make a good graveyard. Basically, I'm planning at some point to dig through here. This is this is going to be my my fighting point. I'm going to go through here, I think. Uh, so there's going to be a prison to keep people, a torture chamber to make them into my minions instead of their minions, and uh, two hatcheries because if you drop uh, chickens on imprisoned people, that heals them. And that'll save me having to use um, heal spells. A new room has been researched. The scavenger room. Excellent. Other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little mini dungeon off this way, and that's going to be a series of uh, well four by four rooms. Someone's got a training room right here somewhere. I can hear them. Can I make another one? I'm going to leave that. A new spell has been researched. Your library is too small. Do you need more than three rooms? Your creatures are fighting amongst themselves. Right, you're being annoying. What I need to do is I need to make... Oh, I can't really. Um, what I'll do is I'll grab a couple of mages. Uh, we go? Your creatures are fighting amongst themselves. A new spell has been researched. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build uh, another another little mini dungeon up here. Mm. Basically, wizards, uh, warlocks, and vampires fight each other all the time, and so you mostly have to keep them separate or be kind of clever. Um, the reason I'm not just chucking them in, into the... Oh, I'm just going to chuck them in here. The library is too small. That's it. It is payday. I had a reason for not just chucking them into the training room, but... They don't, it doesn't really matter. Right, so let's make... Your creatures are fighting amongst oh, themselves. So aggravating. Can't you just get along? The answer is no. No, no, no. So this is going to be a big treasure room here. help if I connected that little series of rooms to the outside world. Go back to the map, tuck you into the library. <laughs> Actually, before I do any of that, before I get that treasure, I should get this gold. This is a big lump of gold. I can get that. Uh, so we'll just unselect it with that. Do I have imps doing doing annoying things of getting out of the way? So I have I have constructed myself a bit of a dungeon, and I am preparing uh, hopefully for slap slap for the future. I'm making a couple of mini dungeons uh, in order to. I think I need to cut down because there are some folks who do not get on well with others. Um, there we go. So I'm eventually going to put my vampire into here, and when I say eventually, I might do it just like now. See so what I can do is what am I going to put? Put down a library. Your gold reserves are running low. You do not have enough gold. You uh, cannot afford to train creatures. Right, okay. 
Oh, I have some third level imps. Excellent. Uh, there are third level imps who are doing everything faster, which is brilliant. That's exactly what I want. Do I have all my third level? I might have them all out. Yeah, they're all, they're all gone. So my, my, I have three now third level imps who do everything at double speed. Which is going to save my bacon. Also, going to do something which might seem a little weird. I'm going to get rid of this treasure room. Various things in this game cost money, uh, and money that that gets taken out. Uh, <coughs> just disappeared from the treasure room and it appears that the last treasure room placed is the one that gets the money taken off it. Uh, so for various reasons I want to make sure that money comes out of this treasure room when I finally get it fixed uh, and not any other treasure room. Because I want this to be the last treasure room I place down. There you go. Now this is this is I probably this is I could probably have done a better introduction to the game, but this is this is very much how I play this game. Um, you need a treasure room as well, actually. So uh, let's give you a hatchery. You just thought vampires don't really need food as such, but yeah, apparently they do. Um, I'm just going to give you land. I will give you treasure. Now, later, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be. Where are you going? You're going to try and. No, no, no. They're trying to pick up the go to. They've run out of space here. Warlocks want to do research. Um. And so they will get in the way. Now, I need to go and look for something that I happen to know is here. Um, which is that. There you go. Um, I'm going to build that construction, which will make sense in a bit, I hope. Um, the reason that what's going on here is that there is some areas already dug out. You have tunneled into a new area. Yeah, unfortunately, it's got a trap. And beyond there is going to be. Right, now I could get you out of the way. Oh, that didn't work. I thought I'd been clever. Oh, I have been clever. That's, that's fine. Uh, that boulder will just crush everybody. Um, but that worked out pretty well, actually. It broke against this door and then failed to uh, do anything more. Grabbing my vampire, she is going to attack that door and open it. And then I'll be able to claim the room beyond. At which point, um, I'm going to have a workshop. All right, so you're going to you're going to fix up my workshop, I hope. And I'm going to gain this troll. He's going to belong to me. And I am now going then going to be able to start making uh, traps, doors. You're taking control of the room and stuff like that which means I'm going to be able to get those mini dungeons and block them off from the outside world which is going to be exactly what I'm going to need so um, that's where I'm up to now I'm now going to just quickly save my game because I crashed before game I crashed saved again. I'm going to say thanks so much for watching uh, do hit like and subscribe if you've been enjoying these videos uh, let's find you. Um, 
find Neil of Dice at neilofdice.com or also on Facebook and Twitter and you can find links to all of that in the video description and until next time slap your imps